Um, I'll go ahead and get started because we do have a ton to cover today. Um, and it's so, I mean, it's very exciting. Um, so first off, I want to welcome everyone to the opening session of the DIFF Hackathon. Um, I'd like to introduce myself. So my name is Lamari, and I'm the Senior Director of Community Engagement at the Decentralized Identity Foundation. Um, I think most of you are familiar with uh, the Decentralized Identity Foundation, otherwise known as DIFF. Uh, but in case anyone is not, well, um, we will have a quick intro, very brief intro on what DIFF is in just a moment. Um, I do want to mention that this is the second of our major hackathons here at DIFF. So last year we did have um, a hackathon which we posted on DevPost and we are thrilled to share that we've tripled the number of sponsors um, this year over last year. Um, so there are 15 sponsors this year. We're up to 69K USD in prizes. We'll have 17 sessions over the coming two weeks. And we're really excited um, to see our sponsors showcasing their work, to see developers innovating on uh, their tools. Um, and also this educates a new generation of talent and we hope will stimulate adoption of decentralized identity. So a bit on the agenda, what we, we will be going through today is uh, we'll have a, a quick introduction on what DIFF is. Um, then we will have the chairs of our technical steering committee do an introduction on DIFF Labs, which we are launching right now with the hackathon. Um, I will do what I'm calling a quick start guide on what to build and submit. Um, since I know there may be some people here who may be in a hurry, may not be able to stay for the whole session, um, I just want you to get a quick uh, sketch of what you're doing during this hackathon. And then we will have gold and silver um, sponsors do their introductions. Um, they will have up to five minutes to be able to share a little bit um, about what they're offering, what their challenge is. Um, I will be reviewing the bronze sponsor challenges, but we'll invite all bronze sponsors uh, to add as many details in the chat as you like. Um, and then I'll have a, a few more things, a few more important to keep in mind items um, right at the end um, that are in regards to the rules. Um, and um, just a reminder that the rules, um, I, it's not possible to ever go through all the rules in an opening session. So please uh, make sure that you review. If you have a question, uh, go in there and, um, and search to see if you can have your question answered or if you need help, um, you can always reach out to us. Um, so with that, we will do a very uh, quick overview of what is DIFF. So I'd like to introduce the executive director at DIFF, Kim Hamilton Duffy. So go ahead, Kim. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the DIFF 2024 Hackathon. And thank you first to our participants, sponsors, and especially Lamari for making this happen. The, theme, uh, the themes of this hackathon are tremendously ambitious and yet achievable thanks to the dedicated decentralized identity community. So uh, let's just do a quick overview of the very ambitious themes that we're covering that includes enabling seamless physical and digital travel, opening economic opportunities through portable learner worker records, using SSI to enable trustworthy, verifiable AI, and setting a new bar for privacy using ZKPs. So that's a, a lot, but you know we're we're going we're doing it, and so I'm really excited to open uh, all of these efforts to the broader community. A word about DIFF, and next slide, please. Um, so DIFF is a nonprofit focused on building the foundational efforts or de foundational elements of decentralized identity solutions that empower people. And what we do is innovate specifications that set in industry standards. We create essential software tools and building blocks, and we develop next generation applications and protocols through DIFF Labs. And then lastly, we grow our community to support widespread adoption and collaboration. And uh, that's just one of the many reasons that we do events like this. And um, I think our, our slides are we're, our slides are stuck, but um, 
we our working groups cover a wide range of foundational elements, which you'll be working with firsthand throughout the hackathon. And so lastly, I'll wrap it up with that and say we're excited to see what you will build, simplify identity verification, protect privacy, and foster a more secure and equitable digital landscape. Uh, now I'll turn over to Ander and Anker for a brief word about Diff Labs. And um, at that, at this point, I'll point out to Ander and Anker, we may be having some slide difficulties, so you might want to take over screen sharing. Uh, and I'll yes, um... <laughs> I think everything's fine. Just let me know if you want the next slide. Um, just say next slide, and I'll go to the next slide. Yeah, if you could put the the lap slide on, that'd be helpful. Yeah. Um, we're, we're not seeing it on our side. Um, you're not seeing it. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, maybe oh. it's paused. Um, all right. Well, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll go on and, uh, when the slides pop up, uh, we'll, um, continue on. So there we go. Now there, okay. there's this slide. So briefly, hi everybody. Uh, this is, uh, Encore and Andor here talking about the flats. We're up to the co-chairs. Um, we have three co-chairs on this, on this initiative. Diff Labs is a structure that we realized was going to be super important in helping builders and developers sort of have a safe uh, space to go and grow their projects. So it's launching alongside the hackathon. We're intending to take a, a, a project from the hackathon and eventually migrate it over to, to Labs. Um, and the idea is uh, Labs is this the structure that Diff is creating that's starting off in this better form um, up to basically the end of the year where we take finite segments of start and end, um, and we basically allow projects to run with clear sets of outcomes and expectations. You'll be surrounded by a set of experts and mentors to help you through your process of building your applications and um, building your, your sort of uh, initiatives that you wanna go build. I actually see a few uh, experts and mentors on this call. Um, so thank you guys for, for showing up. Uh, and it, Basically, it's a structure that Diff is putting together to say, for example, if you're building a Web5 app and you want to talk to an expert in Web5, how do we connect you to that? Or if you need guidance in terms of uh, how to build a developer community for your particular project, Diff Labs is supposed to support you with that. So it's it's a really exciting part, portion of Diff that's coming through. Um, and we'll send you a link in the chat right here for discussions. Um, if you want to have more questions about Diff Labs, uh, we're looking forward to launching our first version of this, uh, this uh, sort of last quarter. And then starting 2025, we'll be launching a larger version of this uh, with bigger, more projects. So this is a very uh, small subset of projects that we're launching to start for phase one. And uh, we're excited to see you go build. So good luck to all the builders and developers uh, that are working on this hackathon. Hopefully see you all in labs discussing things um, on the side. And uh, yeah, very exciting. Um, Ankur, anything else you want to leave off with before we uh, move on to uh, the next slides? No, I think you covered it. Thank you, everybody. Um, Lamar, that's it for our end. Okay, thank you, Andor and Anchor. Um, so that's very exciting, and we definitely hope that you can participate in that. Um, and moving on, I'll do a uh, just a real quick overview of how you can get started with the hackathon. So first thing is first, important dates. So there is a submission period uh, from October 1st through to November 4th. That's 3 p.m. Pacific. Um, if you're in other time zones, um, Pacific time is Greenwich Mean Time minus eight. Um, judging period, November 7th through to November 17th. And then a, winners will be announced during a live session on November 20th. If there's or if there are ties or anything that may um, delay that, we of course will let you know. But we anticipate everything being set on November twentieth. Uh, so how to enter? Um, very simple. Go to Dev Post. So if you pre-registered, um, you still do have to officially register on Dev Post. So you're not registered unless you've gone into the platform because that is the place where you will submit. That's also the way that you will receive prize money uh, through Dev Post because they need to see your submission there. Um, so the link um, so will be um, in the chat as well so that you can um, go and, um, and register. What to create. So entrants must create um, a working application. Oops, sorry, Let's give me a second here. 
So entrants must create a working application that complies with the submission requirements of their chosen sponsor track and or challenge within that track. So um, if you haven't been to DevPost yet, uh, take a look. Um, are all of the challenges, so what you're seeing are just summaries. So there are more details of every single challenge and you'll see a link in each description, which will take you uh, to a special page that we've stood up so that you can get every, absolutely everything all in one place. Cause this is not something that DevPost was, um, allows us to completely put on their site. So um, there's an info site and I know that will also be dropped into the chat as well. Um, so if you want to get the complete view of those challenges, you will have to go there. Submission uh, requirements. So all submissions must include tooling that use, utilizes the building blocks of decentralized of the decentralized identity foundation. And these are decentralized identifiers and verifiable credentials as per open standards at the W3C. Um, there were a couple challenges where there is an exception just because of the uniqueness of what they wanted to bring to the hackathon didn't quite fit with these requirements. So that's Pinata and Netsys, which is the hospitality and travel SIG challenge. Um, so look for the details in dev posts, but when you get to that point of submission, you can just put not applicable um, for those two um, for those two tracks. Additional submission requirements. So you do have to you do have to do a video. This will be very important um, on what the app does. You'll you'll have to also provide a URL to a public code repository, a text uh, description that explains the features and functionality, and also a description of how DIDs and VCs were used on all challenges, with the exception of the two I mentioned for Pinata and Nexus. Uh, the tooling is sponsor specific, so there's not one set of tools for every single challenge or, or one entire track. Um, so as I mentioned, you'll find everything on our info page. Um, also, um, ed the education track is allowing participants to choose their tooling. So Vidos is offering what they're calling a hack pack, so it has a variety of tooling options. That's This will be very useful to hackers, so that link is also there as well. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to our sponsors. I will come back and share a few more things just about the rules and things to keep in mind a little bit later, um, but we're gonna move on to uh, starting with our um, big thank you to Trinsic. So uh, Trinsic is an in-kind sponsor to this a hackathon through their tooling. So Trinsic is providing a sandbox, um, a sandbox identity verification product to hackathon participants for free. And so through the sandbox, you'll have a global document verification product capable of verifying 16,000 plus document types. So this includes driver's licenses, passports, permanent resident cards, um, it includes live list detection, biometric ma matching. So if you're interested in using this real world identity verification platform, then email hackathon at trinsic.id. Uh, then you will, they will get you all set up. Um, they'll let you use the, the platform for free for the duration of the hackathon. All right, so moving on to our gold sponsors, and I just want to give a big thank you for the generous support that these sponsors have given to this hackathon. And so what we're going to do is um, I'll give the floor to each of these sponsors for about five minutes each so they can go through their challenges um, and tell you a little bit more about um, what they're looking for. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start with... Um, the ZKP track, so this is Privacy Scaling Explorations. They're offering 10K USD in prizes. So I'll offer the floor um, to someone from PSE. 
Yes, thank you. Um, hi, my name is uh, Yanis. Uh, I hope everybody's uh, hearing me. Uh, I'm a software engineer and uh, working at, um, at uh, PSE. So what is PSE? PSE is a research and development uh, laboratory of uh, the Ethereum Foundation. So we are developing a bunch of tools uh, to um, program what we call programmable cryptography. So uh, mainly around the zero knowledge, uh, MPC and uh, FSE. So uh, we developed like a really um, cool tool around programmable cryptography, letting like uh, users uh, build self uh, attestations. Uh, so myself, I worked uh, on a protocol called uh, Anon Adar, which lets uh, uh, Adar citizens, uh, so people from um, India that have an Adar card, uh, generating a zero knowledge proof that they have uh, 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 an identity, and then they can use this identity everywhere, like in either like in private servers or like in, in the public, uh, let's say like uh, in a blockchain without like compromising their, their identity. Uh, we have also, uh, we will go through like all the tools we have like uh, in the workshop session like uh, tomorrow, but just want to highlight that we are developing all these self-attestation tools and that we want to see them like uh, uh, more standardized. So I think like uh, uh, there, are, there are a bunch of uh, cool ideas to build like around uh, taking all these self-attestation tools and make them like uh, compliant with uh, VCs and the IDs. Uh, that's why we want to see the, the most like uh, during this hackathon. Uh, and uh, yeah, we are super happy to be there. Like for us, uh, uh, self-attestation and self-sovereign identity is like uh, something that matter uh, to us uh, a lot. So super excited about like uh, we are gonna what we are going to witness like uh, during this uh, hackathon. Thank you. Hey, thank you so much um, to PSC. And then moving on, um, we also have Pinata who are offering 10K USD in prizes as well. So I want to invite, um, I believe, Stephen uh, to go ahead and share a little bit about Pinata's challenge. Yes, thank you. Uh, so hey everyone, my name is Steve, as Lamar said, and uh, I'm the head of developer release for Pinata. We're really excited to be sponsoring the DIF Hackathon this year. Uh, we've been, uh, you know, pretty long time friends with DIF. A little background on Pinata. Uh, we've been an IPFS provider since 2018. And so we primarily deal with decentralized storage and have been supporting the Web3 space for many, many years and supporting lots of different types of infrastructure. Um, and we basically took a lot of what we learned from that space and doing things there and basically built our files API, which is brand new. And this basically allows for either public or private files and the ability to access those files uh, however you want to do. So it's perfect fit for DIF. So if you wanted to uh, you know, verify someone's credentials and allow access to content or files, it's basically the perfect setup and it's really easy to use. Uh, so our challenges are going to be revolving around those concepts of verified file storage and the ability to, you know, unlock content uh, based on uh, verifiable credentials or proof of personhood and identity-based access controls. And the prizes range anywhere from $5,000 for our best overall or down to $100 for honorable mentions, which will do five honorable mentions. So uh, highly recommend you check out all the challenges and prizes we have available. Uh, we have a special page it's going to be docs at or docs.pinata.cloud slash DIF. I'll drop a link down here in the chat just so y'all have it. And that's going to basically have everything you need on how to use Pinata, information about the challenges, um, links to, you know, the DIF Discord, which Pinata is going to have a channel. If you ever have any questions, feel free to drop a message. We'll be happy to help you out. And yeah, we're really excited to be here and excited to see what you guys can build. Thanks. Thank you so much, Stephen. Um, so I also will mention that both PSC and Pinata will be doing sessions tomorrow. Um, so we have PSC starting at 9 a.m. Pacific tomorrow, and then we have right after Pinata at 10 a.m. So if you would like to go to their sessions and, lear and learn more, um, we will drop the um, Diffs Eventbrite link. So every single session that we will be discussing will be um, We'll be here at this link. Okay, so moving on to our next gold sponsor. This is on the education track. Um, 15K USD and prizes being offered. Um, and I know Kim is going to speak to this track because she collaborated with um, 
with the uh, with DCC and JFF on this. So go ahead, Kim. Yes, thank you. So I'm uh, filling in for Sharon and Carrie, Sharon Liu and Carrie Lemoy, who are in travel right now. Um, but I'm really excited about this. This is an area very close to my heart. JFF and DCC have uh, teamed up to offer a set of challenges that actually build on the JFF Plug Fest stack. And so what's really nice about that is they've developed a pretty mature set of prof like standards profiles and also tool sets that you can use to um, help get you started. And so in general, the theme is that they invite you to explore solutions that create pathways to economic advancement. There are a range of, of challenges. Some focus on more tooling kinds of things and some are more expansive. So going through those, um, one of the tool, the tooling ones are around creating verifiable credential tools with multi-language support and browser integration. Another challenge focuses on enhancing the existential ex existing uh, credential wallets and verifiers that are part of the JFF e uh, DCC ecosystem. And then the last one with the highest prize is a use your imagination and the reward will go to the most compelling demonstration of the transformation that's possible when people can control their learner and worker records. And so some examples are given in the description like using your proof of employment history to apply to a new job, demonstration of essential skills and applications of selective disclosure. There is a bonus design challenge that's an add-on to any of the other challenges. And that's really about how um, we can establish credibility of digital credentials in existing systems. The prize is total 15,000. The breakdown is on the individual page and uh, with a lot of resources on the standards that you need to use and the toolkits that can help get you started. Awesome. Thank you, Kim. Um, so the education track will be also having a session next week. Um, so their session is Wednesday, October 9th at 9 a.m. if you'd like to join. All right. So moving on to our silver sponsors, um, we have Arc, Bro Arc Block, Trubity, and Vidos. And I want to give a very um, big thank you um, to our silver sponsors. Um, for helping to make this a, an amazing hackathon. And we're going to start with ArcBlock. And so I'd like to invite Robert up to um, share about um, the challenge. Uh, hello, everyone. And uh, it's my honor here to join with a lot of people who are in their uh, DID, decentralized identity uh, community. And uh, uh, ArcBlock, what our blog is uh, uh, we're building a platform uh, to help developers to build decentralized applications. Um, we are truly believer of the decentralized identity and we believe that you cannot actually making a real DApps without having uh, the identity decentralized. So that's why we invest big in the decentralized identities. And our platform, the goal of our platform is try to lower the barriers. Um, the, the, lower, the first is lower the barriers of entry for the developers. We try to make the developing uh, framework and tools as easy as possible so the developers does not need to understand a lot of uh, complex concept before they can get started. Uh, our ultimate goal is to lower the barrier of entry for the end users. The decentralized identifier technology is great, but it needs to be easily you know, approachable uh, for the end users. They don't need to understand all those kind of technical details. They just need to, you know, use it so easily, right? So that's our ultimate goal. So for this hacks and tracks, uh, our ultimate, uh, we, for this hacks and tracks, we kind of uh, want to make those goals, you know, appear to the hackers. Uh, so we have uh, comprehensive platform tools and framework and tools, and uh, the barrier is really low. For example, we have a, a, a no-code AI tools that let the users, um, if they have some idea, they want to build some D, uh, DID related applications. Potentially they could, even without some you know, coding skills, uh, they will be able to create something. Yeah. 
Uh, we have a dedicated wiki page uh, coming up um, that it, uh, we showcase the different tools and different frameworks. We also let our engineers create a few of those kind of working examples. Uh, so the hackers, you can just fork the project and you can get something up and running and uh, to experience uh, how it works. We also uh, shared a few of those ideas in each of those tools so you can get inspired uh, if we want to hack in something, get something, you know, work uh, within a short period of time, uh, how it works. Um, so we also have a, like a design, you know, facing applications track. That is, even you don't know how to write code, you don't know uh, the detail of the technology, but potentially like verifiable credentials, and it could be visualized so that any user know uh, what exactly it looks like, right? It's not just a piece of data. It's something looks probably looks like an access card, looks like a ticket, but it actually has a verifiable data uh, inside it. Uh, I think I'm going to explain more uh, on the educational uh, sessions, and uh, uh, I hope everybody you know in this hackathon can find our tools easy to use, um, and hopefully you create something amazing especially the end user friendly to include more of the end users into our whole community. Great, thank you so much, Robert. And also I'll mention that uh, Robert will be doing um, their arc blocks demo sessions in two parts. So there's gonna be part one on Thursday, um, which will be 10 a.m. Pacific. And then part two will be Friday also. 10 a.m. Pacific. So um, make sure to join if you'd like to um, learn more about ArcBlocks Track. Okay. Um, so moving on, um, we have Truvity who are offering 5K USD in prizes also on the reusable identity track. Um, so I'd like to invite our friends from Truvity to go ahead and share a little bit about their challenge. Thanks a lot, Limari. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Alexander. I'm the product manager at Truvity, and it's fantastic to see all the enthusiast problem solvers uh, gathered here today. So let me first quickly introduce you to Truvity. Uh, we are building the infrastructure uh, for the future of credential management. Our mission is to revolutionize the way individuals and also businesses handle compliance and credential verification. We believe that there is a better way to do business, build trust, collect information, and move beyond just messaging apps, emails, client portals, paperwork, and all this hassle and all the cumbersome process that currently exist. On the tech side, our platform offers APIs and SDKs to help manage credentials and exchange of these credentials between different parties. Um, everything uh, that we build is built uh, closely uh, to closely follow uh, SSI standards so businesses can enjoy smooth interoperability without the usual headaches. Uh, so yeah. Enough about us, uh, let's uh, dive into the challenges we've lined up for you. Our first challenge is all about Nico, developer who's packing up and moving to Amsterdam. We want you to build a digital identity wallet with an embedded to-do list. This isn't just any wallet. Uh, it will manage and submit verifiable credentials for tasks like finding a place to live or opening up a bank account. You'll also need to handle interlinked verifiable credentials to keep all the data consistent and trustworthy throughout the Miko's move. Think about it. Moving to a new city can be a real hassle with all the paperwork and verifications. How amazing would it be to simplify the process using SSI technologies? That's why we're looking for solutions that make this transition as smooth as possible and stress-free for people like Miko. As for the second challenge, uh, we focus on making the KYC process less of a pain for financial institutions. Your task is to design the compliance officer webpage that manages and verifies interlinked verifiable credentials. The goal is to ensure a smooth and efficient verification process when someone is opening a bank account. Uh, let's face it, the current KYC process are often slow, inefficient, come with some security concerns. Uh, that's why we're thinking about how we can leverage verifiable credentials to speed things up, enhance security, and make the whole experience better for both customers and the organization. So to help you bring your ideas to life, uh, we are providing the Truvit SDK available in TypeScript and Java. We encourage you to build solutions that really dive into real world applications of decentralized identity, like the challenges we lined up for you. So why jump in? Pretty simple. As I mentioned, you will be tackling real world problems. So we, uh, without challenges, we're focusing on something that potentially 
will be the future of uh, digital identity management. You will get hands on with uh, cutting edge technology and we, you will be able to show off your skills. We will make sure to feature your projects on Truity's blog and social channels. So you will get the recognition you deserve. Uh, we can't wait to see your ideas come to life. Head to the Truity channel on Discord. We are there to help and please join us on Thursday uh, for our workshop. Yeah, thank you, Alexander. Um, also, Alexander mentioned the Discord, um, so we we should probably drop that in the chat as well. Um, but um, but yes, every sponsor of this hackathon has a dedicated channel in Discord. Um, and so, if you need to reach them, you can go there. If they want you to go elsewhere besides there, they will let you know there. So it's kind of just a little hub uh, for you um, to figure out where where you're going. Um, all, and some some of them may decide to also have their discussions in there uh, fully as well. Truvity will be doing their session this Thursday, October 3rd. That's going to be at 9 a.m. Pacific. So um, if you'd like to learn more, uh, definitely join uh, Truvity's session. Um, so we have one more in the lineup of silver sponsors. Um, so Vidos, they're doing a combination of reusable identity and also edu an education challenge as well. Uh, with 4.5 USD and prizes. Um, so I'd like to invite Tom to share a few things about their challenge. Hey, uh, thank you so much for the invite. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Tom, head of marketing at Vidos, and we are incredibly excited to be part of this year's Diff Hackathon, our first time being part of a Diff Hackathon. Um, first of all, huge shout out to all of you for being on this Zoom call and being here because you're literally the ones that will be shaping the future of decentralized identity. Um, and we can't say to, can't wait to see what you build over the next month. Um, very quick introduction to Vidos. We consider ourselves to be building the digital identity layer of the internet. Um, we have several services that will help developers build out tools that help other people integrate decentralized identities, verifiable credentials into their projects without having to worry about the changing regulations, standards, compliance, et cetera. Um, so yeah, we are, as I said, the identity layer that handles the compliance, regulatory and technical heavy lifting so that you can focus on what really matters, which is building out innovative solutions that empower your users. Um, we have a suite of tools and services that are designed to be scalable, interoperable, meaning they work with a wide range of by you know verified credential methods, did methods, credential formats, et cetera, et cetera. So whichever channel and track you choose to develop for in this hackathon, education, travel, reusable identity, there are many use cases that you can use the Vidos services for. All the Vidos services are free and they will be free long after this hackathon as well uh, for developers. So I encourage you to go and have, take a look at what it is. Very quick overview. We have the Vidos Universal Resolver that helps you resolve decentralized identifiers, DIDs, um, whether that's DID checked, DID DHT, DID EBSI, key, et cetera, et cetera, many, many more. Um, it's really about making it simple to integrate with just an API call. Um, we have the Vidos Verifier. This allows you to verify verifiable credentials, as you would imagine, cryptographically, making sure that the authentic and secure. They work to W3C standards um, and open ID credentials as well. So we've got you covered on a range of different things. We've also got the Vidos validator where you're able to bring in almost like a, a level of logic to the verification and the validation of identities, whether that's from a regulatory angle or compliance angle or just your own projects criteria, you know, only 18s or only people in certain demographic, whatever that's, that's also allowed. Um, our two challenges, uh, focusing on the education and employment angle, we're very curious to see how we can help onboard new users into organizations and businesses. This is actually, this challenge has been brought to us from some research we've done through PwC and other um, big consultant bodies. We've noticed a demand for employee onboarding. So this challenge is very much solving a real world problem. Um, which we're very excited to see what people develop. And then the second challenge in reusable identities, very similar to what um, other sponsors have brought up. Uh, we're very curious to see how the identities can be used, 
you can use one identity in multiple scenarios, multiple identities in the same scenario, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and yeah, we fully believe that this is the mindset and the people are the right people here to make that happen. Um, another quick thing is we do have the Vidos hack pack, which Lamari mentioned earlier. So if you're looking for a place to get started, looking for tools, tutorials, resources, or whatever, head over to the digital identity hack pack. You'll be able to find whatever it is you need to get started. Any of the sponsors that are on this call, if you want to be listed on the hack pack, drop me a message. We will get your tools up there to make sure that this hack hackathon has everything that people need to get going. Um, yeah. Good luck to everyone. We can't wait to see the incredible projects. Um, happy hacking. Yeah. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you so much, Tom. Um, and so now we're going to move on to our bronze sponsor challenges. Um, so we'll, we'll be doing things a little bit different. I will be um, running through this, um, the challenges for the bronze sponsors. Um, bronze sponsors are welcome to drop um anything in the chat, any links, um, if you also at the end, if you need to cut in and, you know, if there's something you really, really need to add, um, you know, feel free. Um, but we're going to go through this, um, fairly quickly, but also I want to give a big, um, thank you to our bronze sponsors who brought us some very unique challenges, um, and also some great prize pulls as well. Um, so we're going to go ahead, um, and get started here, um, with, TBD's challenge. Um, so they are also on the reusable identity track, 5K USD and prizes. Um, they would like participants to use TBDEX, which is an open messaging protocol that enables liquidity seekers to connect with liquidity providers. And um, this is getting at the, uh, the challenge of performing repeat KYC on customers. Um, every time they attempt to transact with you from a different payment app. So to avoid this, they're asking um, hackers to use the Web5 SDK to issue a known customer credential, a KCC, uh, to a customer, Alice, who you already completed a KYC on. Um, and then you'll store the JOT representing the KCC in Alice's decentralized web node so she can present it to your business from any payment app. So... Um, Feel free to um, to ask any questions to um, to us in the chat or to TBD in the chat or in Discord. Also, they will be having a session next week. Um, their session will be Tuesday, October eighth at nine a.m. Pacific time. So, if anybody would like to join, um, looks like we have uh, Ta Tanya from TBD um, who's offering also um, a little another link there. Okay, thank you, Tanya. Um, <clears throat> and then moving on, we have CrossMint. Um, so CrossMint have a track on, uh, they're on the re reusable identity track. And so what they're offering is 1.5K USD uh, cash in prizes plus 3,500 CrossMint credit. Um, and the track explores the um, the challenge explores the concept of reusable identities that can streamline various processes such as KYC, know your customer and KYB, know your business. So reusable claims for compliance and age verification. So they want participants to create a robust and secure identity solution that can be reused across different platforms and services. And the way they would like hackers to do this is through Crossman's Verifiable Credentials API. Um, some of the various directions you can go with your submission are KYC, KYB processes, age verification, or anti-money uh, money laundering AML compliance. Um, so um, if you have any questions, um, you can drop them in the chat here for Crossmint or go over to Discord. Um, also, Crossmint will have a session with us. This will be next week, October 9th. This will be at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Um, and there's Filippos um, uh, there in the chat from Crossmint. Thank you, Filippos. Um, Ontology. Um, so we're excited to welcome back Ontology for a second time. They participated with us last year in the DIFF Hackathon. 1.8 USD in prizes. Um, so their challenge 
is focused on ONT login, which is a decentralized universal authentication login component. Um, and this will help developers shield the details of authentication implementation, creating a Web3 secure login experience for enterprise and services. Um, it's an example. They share that it's an example of how reusable identity can be applied in any Web2, Web3 application, protecting users' data and privacy. Uh, so their challenge, they have two options. One is to submit documentation. So make a repo for re relevant technical document documentation for its SDKs. Also, another um, challenge they're putting forward is providing a demo case for integrating ONT, lo ONT login to their existing app, to your existing application, say setting ONT login as one of your user login methods. Um, so any questions, um, go ahead and feel free to reach out to Ontology. I see Humpty in the chat. Hey, Humpty, um, who's offering some, uh, some tips and resources. And also they will be having a session which will take place next Tuesday, October 8th at 8 a.m. Pacific. And moving on to Anonymy Labs. Um, so Anonymy Labs um, has a really interesting challenge. So the next couple are do um, work with proof of personhood credentials. Um, so Anonymy Labs, um, their, just a quick overview of their challenge. Their challenge is encouraging participants to create innovative solutions using personhood credentials based on W3C verifiable credentials. Um, so the focus is to build solutions that demonstrate privacy, security, and usability of personhood credentials or PHCs in decentralized identity ecosystems. So they're asking hackers to design and implement a privacy preserving approach to PHCs and submissions should demonstrate the following PHC capabilities, credential issuance, credential limits, unlinkable pseudonymity, credential verification, zero knowledge, knowledge proofs, PHC usage, for example, you can use DIDCOM, and also optionally, you can use Aries Cloud Agent or Anon, the Anon CREDS specification as well. Um, and thank you, Steve, uh, for sharing some details in the chat. Um, you can go over and chat with Anonymy Labs in Discord. They're offering 2,700 USD in prizes. They're going to kick off next week with a session on Monday, October 7th, which will be at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Okay, and moving on, we have Checked. Uh, so Checked will be offering their, their prize in Check tokens. This will be 7,500 USD worth of Check tokens, which they're offering for their challenge. Uh, they titled their challenge, Harnessing Decentralized Identity for Verifiable AI. Um, and so they are asking participants to use Check's decentralized identity stack to build verifiable, to build an er a ver verifiable AI concept solution that tackles emerging societal and technical challenges. And some of the examples are content credentials, proof of personhood credentials, proof of authorized AI agent. So you'll see more details in the um, info page that we uh, put, um, that was offered in the chat. Um, and also you can join Check's info uh, uh, demo session, which will be Thursday, October 10th, next week at 10 a.m. Pacific. Okay, and so um, we have a couple more bronze sponsors. They're both on the travel track. Um, and I'm really excited that we do have some challenges here as well. Um, so 5,000 USD in prizes from NetSys. Um, I do wanna say that this challenge was organized by the Hospitality and Travel Special Interest, Interest Group here at DIFF. And they are asking hackers to use the power of decentralized identity technology to demonstrate one or more steps in a future frictionless and connected travel journey. So um, imagine how much friction you have in just planning your own trip. Um, how can you make that seamless? So an example would be going from looking to booking, arriving, enjoying 
um, while you're there and so on. And teams should demonstrate the reusability and portability of traveler information along the travel journey. And a profile is to be used to specify traveler personal data and preferences, which may be self-attested by the traveler. So teams can use a traveler profile of their own, or they may use preferences and DIDCOM services provided by Atora.me. So you'll see the details um, on the DIFF info site. Hello, Alex. Um, thanks for joining today. Um, if you'd like to get into that challenge, um, it's very interesting. And last but certainly not least is Extremian, who are offering 1K USD uh, cash and prizes and over 4K USD worth of Extremian credits. So um, their challenge is to design, to design a secure check-in system for hotels that leverages verifiable credentials issued by the government. So the government of a guest country will issue a VC passport for travelers and when they check into a hotel, the hotel will verify their credential, check its status, whether it's valid, invalid, or under review. And this ensures a seamless, secure, and privacy-focused check-in process. They are asking hackers to use ID Connect by Extremian to create both the credential um, for the issuer, which is the government in this case, and the verifier, which is the hotel. Um, so also... I uh, want to mention that Extremian hosted a co-branded hackathon, a hack-along um, with DIFF. So this was an educational event. In It was completely um, in Spanish. Um, they've all been recorded with English subtitles. If you're interested in checking that out, um, it, it would be exciting even if you're just learning Spanish, you want to get your vocab down. Um, but it's a great resource, and we're really happy that Extremian is able to participate with us in this hackathon. Okay, so thank you so much once again for all our sponsors um, for being part of this hackathon um, and, and uh, generously um, offering uh, your prize pools and sponsorship. Um, there are a few more things that I do wanna mention before we go today, and then I'll take a few minutes for questions if anybody has them. Um, so quickly, judging criteria, you'll find this on the front page of uh, the hackathon site on dev post. Um, so functionality, how well your app functions, feasibility, scalability, can it scale in the real world, technical complexity, creative creativity and innovation, user experience and presentation. And I don't want to underemphasize that last part a lot because keep in mind, some of our judges might be looking at a lot of submissions. So being having the ease of being able to go through what you're presenting, having your code neat and tidy, um, it's always great if you have, if you know someone who's a designer or an aspiring UX designer or project manager, these people can also help as well. Who can submit? So it can be an individual, it can be a team, organization, corporation, startup. Um, you just need to, if you're a team, you'll just need to appoint one person to submit on your behalf. Now I do have um, some things to share that are not, I, I call it the good news and the bad news. So the good news is you can make multiple submissions. Um, so say you want to make a submission as an individual, but then you also wanna make a submission as part of a team that's allowed. Um, also you can win multiple prizes. So that is the good news for this hackathon, but there's also some not so good news um, and I have to say that the hackathon is not open to some, some people, including um, if you're a sponsor or you're employed by a sponsor or a judge or your relative of one of those. Also, there's certain we do um, run this hackathon through dev post on the um, for the prize money distribution. And so there's certain areas, certain countries they will not distribute prize money to. So you'll find those listed below right there. Um, and the reason just being this could be regulations, sanctions, local laws that make it really difficult to, to deliver prizes. So uh, people in these um, countries can still submit, but it, DevPost just will not distribute prize money. So I um, have to share that bad news. Draft submissions. So when you're along your journey in creating your submission, you don't have to wait till the very end to get everything in. You can 
put whatever you have at a certain point in and save it as a draft. This is going to make it so much easier for you to submit. So you don't have too much to do at the end. But once the submission period is ended, you may not make any changes or alterations to your submission. And a quick word on extensions, which is very important. Remember, hacking closes on November 4th, which is a Monday at 3 p.m. Pacific time. And try to submit early. So I would say um, since the hackathon closes on a Monday, try make your goal the Saturday before. Um, you know, if you need to work all night, Saturday night, whatever it takes. Um, the reason I'm saying is because if anything goes wrong, there's not going to be any extensions. We had an extension last year, but we can't do it this year. We just have too many moving parts. Um, so make sure that you submit early. Very important. How to get help. So very important. So we mentioned Diff's Discord uh, server. There's also a support channel in the Discord server, uh, in addition to sponsor channels. And office hours will be held by individual sponsors. They'll let you know in the chat when those will be, um, if they choose to hold those office hours. They're just very informal discussions so that you can get help and ask questions on anything you might need. Okay, and so we've actually come to the end and I wanna thank all of you for joining, all of you for sponsoring. Also, we do have an email, which is hackathon at identity.foundation. And that's if you need to reach us maybe with some more urgency than what you might find in the Discord server, you can go ahead and send a message to us at that email. So, um, so thank you everyone. And are there any questions about anything regarding, oh, and one thing that's very important before, um, before you all leave is that all of the work has to be done during the hacking period. So if you submit something that you did six months ago, this will not, this will immediately disqualify you. So this is really important. So whatever work you're submitting, even if it's work you've done in the past, it does have to be significant, significantly updated during the time that the hacking is taken during the hacking period. Uh, so I just want to, to make sure that that's, um, that that's also known as well. Okay, so any questions from anyone? Yes, so this recording will be published. There's a recordings channel in Discord. And so the recordings will immediately go there in the Discord server. So every single demo session, everything that's that's done as part of this hackathon will go there. Okay, any other questions from anyone? And also um, we do have a session which is gonna come, which is coming up right after this at 1030 Pacific, um, which is um, 730, I think it's 730 Central European time, um, which is an intro to decentralized identity. So if anyone's on this call who's new to decentralized identity, or you just wanna have access to talking to a couple of experts, um, they will be hosting a session and or and both and or um, Kesselman and anchor Banerjee, uh, who are chairs of the technical steering committee here at DIFF. Um, and then tomorrow we do have a deep dive on decentralized identifiers from Marcus Sabadello, who is the one of the foremost experts in the world on decentralized identifiers. So if you wanna to talk to him, um, that will be at 12 p.m. Pacific time, um, 9 p.m. Central European time. So please confirm that any IP created is owned by the submitters. So there is a detailed overview um, Kim, do you have the um, the rules link? So there's a detailed overview of everything IP related in the rules section. Um, if you go ahead and shoot us an email at the hackathon at identity.foundation, um, then we can um, go into that more in depth um, from there. But the rules um, are the source of truth on, on all, all IP questions. Yes, the, all future session links will be posted in Discord.
Okay, any other questions? All right, so I think we are good. Um, so yes, so if anything comes up, you know where to find us in Discord or at um, hackathon at identity.foundation. I wanna thank everyone for joining today. Um, and um, yeah, uh, get to it, happy hacking. Um, and we are so excited to see all of your creative submissions at the end of this hackathon. So thank you so much once again for joining. Oh, and then Chris, did you have one more question on the prizes? Times two always means that there's more than one prize. Uh, can I? Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, hi, I'm Chris. And I saw on the link you shared on their posts on the TBD section concerning the prizes, there is the prize then times two. So I don't understand if the prize will, will be doubled or if it's something else. Um, let me take a look really quick for you. Um, yeah, so the so times two would mean that there's more than one prize, that there's two prizes. Oh, so there is the money and something else? No, it mean like there's two prizes of that amount. Of that same amount? Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. All right. Bye, everyone.